Hey guys, Advice Soap here, and today I'm going to share with you guys iOS 11 Beta 10 versus iOS 11, the final version, which was leaked a few days ago, and I managed to install it before Apple stopped signing the software. Interestingly enough, if I go to settings here, Apple is prompting me to downgrade to iOS 11 beta 10 but i am running the final build because i got the chance to install it when it was leaked a few days ago 15a372 uh, in comparison to the current beta beta 10 which has the a uh, towards the end of that number so this is the official release of course the difference here being uh, some of the new wallpapers that are available on the new betas you can see here we're going to show you some of the latest wallpapers available as you can see beta 10 an official release so there it is let's go ahead and take a look and see if some of the performance has improved 3d touch uh, the speed of bluetooth also the overall performance of the software and at the end of the video the geekbench performance to see how we're doing so the first thing i want to do is go ahead and test the unlocking speed the animations to see if that's improved let's go looks like the same speed let's go ahead and do that one more time in about the same speed unlocking the device now what i want to do now is just simply browse through the os to see how things are flowing and that's expected both are running pretty smoothly as you can see here launching applications or actually the folders here launching apps the multitasker speeds are about the same and everything in between even bringing up the control center here we're about the same speed here for everything else so let's go ahead and take a look at 3d touch you guys wanted me to test 3d touch on all these versions again the final build is on the right so let's go ahead and do that Actually, I felt like it was a little choppier and slower on the final release, but you guys be the judge there. Let me know which one you feel is slower. You see that? I believe the final build actually has more choppiness than the beta software. Now, in terms of features, I can't really point out anything that's new. I've dug around the software. I've had it installed for about a day and a half or two, and I can't point anything out that's different between the two softwares, of course, other than the wallpapers. And you guys always like to ask, this is the final version of iOS. What is the smart invert option or dark mode, as some people like to call it? What is that like? Is it improved? Has it improved? And what does it look like on the final build? Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and load apple.com and show you that Apple, unfortunately, did not improve on the dark mode or the smart inver options as you can see here uh, on the right the final build also shows uh, the colors uh, that are not proper for the images as you see there and of course throughout the software everything just looks uh, the same as it did before so this is not truly a dark mode option I don't think Apple was really aiming for that so it is not any better on the official and final release for iOS I just wanted to share that with you guys now let's go ahead and run the Geekbench application and run a performance test i want to go ahead and press on the power button here and then go ahead and hold the home button here to quit everything that's running in the background and launch the geekbench application to see uh, which one is going to perform better so let's go ahead and do that here and we're going to go ahead and start to test one two three and let's go ahead and wait for the results all right so we're almost done and it looks like the official version of ios finished that first the scores for single core scores are pretty much identical and these multi-core scores actually a little higher on the beta but both devices those are the current scores for the latest beta and the public release or the official final version of ios 11. i also wanted to go ahead and test to see which one connects to bluetooth faster or actually picks up bluetooth devices quicker it reads bluetooth faster so let's go ahead and open up the airpods here and see which one can detect them first there we go and it looks like pretty much close to identical nothing uh, drastic there so the speeds in terms of discovering bluetooth devices it looks like it's identical now in terms of battery performance i'm still testing the final release if i discover that any improvements within the battery are uh, something drastic that i can point out i'll update you guys with another follow-up video but for now i'll let you guys know on twitter what the battery is like i hope you guys enjoy this comparison have a great day i'll see you real soon peace